Oh man, I still need to get my hair cut. Howdy folks and welcome back to WandaVision. What did that say we were at? Uh, season 1, Episode 6. Now I get a title, All New Halloween Spooktacular. The reason I get a title is because I was weak and I fell asleep before midnight. And uh, it's actually around 3 a.m. now. <laughs> 3 a.m. on the West Coast, so three hours after the episodes come out. And uh, we get a title, All New Halloween Spooktacular. I'm wide awake, honest. I have my caffeine. My, my, whoops, can't see the brand. I have my caffeine. You can see the brand. I don't care. Um, a couple of things about last week's episode that, that struck me that I don't think I've seen a lot of people talking about uh, in the reactions, the other reactions I've watched. Um, one is, I, one thing I want to point out to a lot of people, to everybody, <laughs> I don't think anybody's caught, is um, Wanda, you know, yes, she's an antagonist. I don't think she's a villain. And I think that for a lot of reasons, but one very important reason is Remember when she took control of all the soldiers and she had them all point the guns at the director? When she's going through the field and turning it red and everything, um, you'll note that as the soldiers all drop their weapons, they don't all just drop their weapons because they've, they've you know, she, her control is worn off and they're like, oh no, I better drop my weapon. They all uniformly, while they're still red on them, uh, you know, it's fading, but they're still red, they all uniformly jerk their guns down towards the ground, if you, if you notice. That means Wanda commanded that. She commanded them to drop their, their, their weapon or to point their weapons down. Um, and I can think of a lot of reasons for that. One is she might be afraid that, again, make a mess she didn't mean to, uh, that, um, that one of the soldiers coming out of it might have been like fighting the control and would, would accidentally pull the trigger and shoot the director. She didn't want that to happen. She didn't want her, her control to have caused that, I think. So that tells me that no matter how tough she seemed and how angry she, she seemed and how threatening she seemed in that particular scene, she's, she's not a bad person. She really isn't. She just wants to be left alone. And also, by the way, when she's talking, to, or when, uh, when uh, Monica tells her, you know, what can I, what can I, what do you want? And, or asks her what do you want? And she says, I have everything I want and nobody's going to take it from me again. She's looking right at the director. She turns to the director to say that. And I think, honestly... My theory is she didn't kidnap Vision's body. I think she found out that they were doing to his body what we clearly saw they were doing to his body in the video, taking it apart, analyzing it, figuring out how they can make weapons out of it, all of that stuff, how they could maybe make another AI like him. Now that Tony's gone, right? Um, and I guess Bruce forgot that he was a part of Vision's creation, but anyway... Uh, they were they were experimenting. They were they were doing horrible things to the being that she loved. So I think she rescued him. I don't think she abducted or kidnapped or stole, as the director was saying. Um. So I, I mean, my my big theory about this whole thing right now is that she and, and maybe we'll find out in this episode. I, I doubt it. She she uh, um found out that the body was being experimented on rescued it took it somewhere i think she took it to to westview before the 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 hex was put up took it to westview or that's where she happened to stop as she was leaving and um and maybe she was in a, a period of intense grief um and and i don't know that she necessarily put his body together and reanimated him um I think that's when whoever or whatever force did the hex, that, and I believe her when she said she doesn't know how this started, whatever force did that, found her, sensed her, whatever, sensed her grief, figured out that she could be manipulated, and it all started from there. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm very excited to see where it goes, especially now that we have and what I firmly believe is the X-Men crossover, is the universe's colliding, Again, did she bring him from another universe, or did whoever's doing this bring him from another universe? I don't know, but I believe it is definitely a crossover, or universe blending. I don't think it's. Some people are saying that's Mephisto pretending to be Quicksilver from the X Men universe, which wouldn't make any sense at all. Why would he pretend to be Mephisto or X Men Quicksilver? That doesn't make any sense. Just be anybody. Just be Ralph. Uh, so anyway, let's get started. He was killed by Ultron. Oh wow, clips from actually from Ultron, awesome. 
I was expecting a scene from X-Men there. Oh, the age of camcorders. The lyrics are even more on the on the head, right? <laughs> of of what this show's all about. You guys are gonna have to help me on this one. I I recognize that this is a like a '90s show uh, where they would talk to the camera. Maybe Malcolm in the Middle. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. You guys tell me what this is <laughs> uh, a reference to because I wasn't really watching family comedies in the '90s much. I was too busy. Start my own family and, and working. I'm glad we get to see the Quicksilver uh, abilities. I'm a Sokovian. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, wait a minute. Now she's about to go into it. I was just about to say, if it is what I thought, that he is from the real X-Men Pietro, or Peter, Um, are they blending memories? Uh, he was having memories of a Sokovian childhood, but I don't think he grew up there. I thought he grew up in America in the X-Men movies, so... Hmm. Is that exactly how I remember him in a long time? I don't think ever she's seen him. A man cool, we're continuing to get the inside-outside stuff. It's still glowing with her effects? An excuse to be a coward. Ooh. Are they going to start working as a, like a three-person unit now on their own to try to figure this out? I didn't think Darcy would fight. Well, whatever they're going to do in their three-person squad here, they need to do it quickly because they'll be detected eventually. So this must be happening pretty rapidly. He's totally aware of what's going on. Well, I mean, he's not aware necessarily of where he came from, but he's aware that he doesn't belong there, which I think is really cool. By the way, having one of the twins be him is really cool too. I guess this one's kind of her. Um, he is, he's aware that he was brought here, but I think, I think it's a lot like vision in that I don't think he necessarily has any memories of his own outside of this, but he knows he was brought here. And obviously she is still doubt. I mean, obviously she knows he looks different, but she's like he said, testing her to try to figure out what the heck's going on because of the memories and so forth, and I imagine that that story she told about the orphanage was absolutely completely a lie, and and she and he probably knows it because he's somehow getting some of uh, her childhood memories with her brother. I, it, it's a weird crossover thing going on here. Unless, I mean, you guys might be right. I might be a Mephisto, but I don't. I don't think so. Junior entrepreneur over here. The one's covered in silly string. It's interesting how he's calling these things out about the silly string, the pumpkins, the, or the jack o' lanterns, the candy. Before we see it happening, I find that kind of interesting. Sorry, what I got found. So, what is Vision doing? If he's not on duty, is he just trying to learn more about what's going on in here? Maybe he'll encounter the border. Uh oh. Uh oh. S he because oh. Because he's one of the main players and he's wandering afar, there's too many main players, you know, the people that need to be kept into the illusion. Maybe that whoever is controlling the individuals and making them do things, which I don't think is Wanda, um, can't do it all. Is that what's going on? That they're kind of stuck in a little bit of a loop here because um, whoever's controlling everything can't, can't do this many people at once? Oh my god. And the children, by the way. Commercial, but the children are back. Halloween, he comments that there's no children. Earlier we had Agnes. Is her name Agnes? Yeah, Agnes in here, I think. Um comments on the fact that children can't be controlled no matter how hard you try. So are we going to see, are, are the children basically not in, not being controlled right now? Or are they, is it requiring so much attention to try to control them that she has to let the, the adults just sit in a loop? I say she, I'm, I'm figuring it's Agnes, but maybe somebody else. Um, right now. But the children are back. So obviously, 
Vision calling it out made them do something to bring the children back. Halloween's a good cover for that. Okay, so what is it? This is this is like a '90s commercial too. You know, a little bit of of animation, probably some sort of fruit roll up or something. Anything. Yo, magic, bro. Now I uh, yogurt anything. magic. For survivors. Okay. Sorry, I had to jump in here from editing, but notice the movie marquee, The Incredibles. That's 2004. So we're in the 2000s. We're in the knots here. We're not in the 90s at all. So, P, guess what? They've got full-size candy bars he's, with he's getting a real... <clears throat> this whole thing about shot on the, like a chump on the street. Heard you calling me. So it was her desire for her brother that triggered this. I, I don't... That's making me kind of think it actually was Wanda who brought him. Uh, but he's also relaying some memories or things that happened to her Pietro. He's clearly not her Pietro. He's not acting like him. He doesn't have the personality, doesn't have the appearance, but has some of the memories. There's a real kind of collision of universes going on here, I think. I'm still going in the assumption that's not Mephisto. A collision of universes, and it sounds more and more like she was the one who actually called him in. Heard you calling me. Remember, don't, don't go past Ellis Avenue. The border, huh? Is he going to cause these people to start moving now that he's here? So this must be from the trailer when he touches Agnes and wakes her up in the car. Which I got to imagine if Agnes is involved in this. Is her playing possum? I mean, her intentionally pretending to be asleep, but maybe... We'll find out she is just one of the citizens who was just chosen to be the best friend. Is he noticing it distinct he is? It's not just the people, but he's noticing that <clears throat> there's a barrier. That outside this border of the town, there's nothing. He's noticing. There's a car stuck at the barrier. That's going to be the one where Agnes is in. Okay. Are you trying to escape, Agnes? Hang on. Am I reading too much into this? Is there those tears welling up in her eyes, too? Are we going to find out she's not involved? The boss of the what? He doesn't remember, yeah. Agnes, please come back. Agnes! No, now I think she is just playing along. Um, I don't know why she would <clears throat> play along and try to disrupt Wanda's happiness unless that's part of the plan too. Because a lot of people are speculating that the goal of whoever's behind this is to get the children, get the boys. One way to do that is to, now that the boys exist, is to make it all go fall apart, right? And if the boys are real, then they can just snatch up the boys and go. So maybe she's intentionally trying to make it fall apart now. Maybe, oh... Maybe when Wanda did uh, reinforce the barrier, the hex barrier, by making it all you know red with her, her power, maybe that kind of threw a wrench in the works to whoever's behind this, and they're like, we can't shut it down now. Hmm. <laughs> but that maniacal laughing makes me think that people who have the theory that Agnes is really this other character, I think it's like Agatha or something, who's a witch, and in the comics an older witch, it's kind of playing into that, especially the way she's dressed, right? In her costume. So maybe she is just playing along with the whole wake-up thing that Vision's been doing here and pretending to have been lost or stuck. Hmm. I'm so confused. <laughs> is Vision going to make it out? Is he going to leave? Oh, boy. Most personalities aren't far off. I'm glad that the character is bringing it up. The same question I had earlier. But her reaction again implies she's not the one doing it. And I believe her. I believe that she's not controlling these people. I believe that she can influence people, but I don't think she's controlling all these people. I really don't. I don't think she... Could she? I don't know. I don't even know if that's within her realm of possibility or her power, but maybe. But I don't think she is. Endless nothingness. Yeah, it's kind of a, what I was thinking. You know, where she like basically grabbed Vision's body and went somewhere and and just was so sad and full of grief and empty, like she said. 
Um, he's very suspicious now. Now I'm <laughs> leaning towards people who are thinking that he isn't uh, an, any form of Pietro. He's, that he is the Mephisto character because the way he keeps prompting her. But the, when she when he says, you know, how did you do it? And she said, I don't know how I did it. She didn't sound convincing. I think she's... Since she doesn't know there's anybody else involved, I think she's accepting that somehow she did it, but she doesn't know how. I wasn't going to comment on this scene. I just jumped back. I was, I was in the, the next scene and jumped back. But I realized... I wasn't going to comment because to me it's the, it's the same thing with, with Vision. That she, I don't think, and I think this is pretty clear evidence that when she saw Vision in the dead form, that isn't what he really looks like, I don't think. Um, it's what she thinks he really looks like or what she, know, what she last saw him as, right, in that state. And this is, even though the face is wrong, this is what she last saw her brother as, what state he was. So I think it's just more of her. It's her own imagination. I don't think it's actually manifesting itself physically. She's just seeing it that way in her imagination. What's he doing? Vision's coming to the border. Will he be able to leave? Will he just collapse? What? What is it, Billy? But Billy's definitely inherited her powers. She's expanding it. Holy crap. Well, Darcy's going to be in it. Oh, it's only going to expand far enough to get him. Never mind. Oh, no. We got her. And the hot air balloon. <laughs> I love how she's turned the base into a circus. That's hilarious. I take it back. I mean, wow. I don't take back that I still think somebody else is involved, but I take it back that my questioning whether or not she was powerful enough to do this. <laughs> yeah, I think she is. Um, <clears throat> wow. So, Vision's dying just outside the wall. She can't get. She could have gotten to him in time, perhaps, um, to pull him back in if she had used her brother instead of zapping him. Um. I don't think your son could have carried her, so I don't think that was an option. Um, so she did the next best thing. <clears throat> she expanded the hex to encompass him, but it, apparently she expanded it quite a bit. Maybe she just doubled it. Maybe that's what's going on because it brought in a lot. Of, I just, it's funny how the base turned into a circus, though. That's that's funny. Um, and I. I I'm going to nitpick here, but the driver trying to escape with the director. Why are you driving at an angle, at an acute angle to the expanding hex instead of driving straight away the whole time? Okay, a road. You needed a road. You're in a four wheel drive vehicle. It's New Jersey. You could have probably cut across some fields, you know? Uh, it's just funny. Um, Darcy got sucked in. We didn't see what she became. I'm curious if she'll become anything. Will she detect Darcy as an owl? No, I don't think she's... Again, whatever she's doing, if she's, if she's doing it all, whatever she's doing, I don't think she has that fine a control unless that person is right there. Because she didn't even know who Geraldine was when Geraldine came in, right? But Monica came in as Geraldine. She didn't know who she was. She hadn't even given her an identity. She was just there. If she's the one, again, if, if Wanda's the one doing all this. She didn't give her an identity. So, unfortunately, that means Darcy's probably just going to be a neighbor. Or somebody in the town. Which sucks. <laughs> um, but she did send the information to Jimmy's email. The information she gathered uh, on the town, on what, what the director was doing, to Jimmy's email prior to all of this happening. So Jimmy's at least got some more intel, some more information. Um, this expanding hex taking over all this stuff and now, is this going to be enough to attract the attention of an Avenger? I mean, I could maybe believe that just a small little hex around the town wasn't quite enough yet, especially if S.W.O.R.D. said, hey, you know, we're dealing with this, don't worry about it. 
But if now if Sword has been compromised, will that attract the attention of an Avenger? And will that Avenger be Doctor Strange? Again, we know Kevin Feige said this show, this entire show is going to lead into that Doctor Strange movie. I'm still anticipating there will be a Doctor Strange appearance in this in this uh, in this show. Um, my personal guess. I still don't know exactly what's up with Pietro. <clears throat> he seems to be. There's so many possibilities. I still don't think he's Mephisto. For a while there, I was kind of worried that he might have been, or somebody like Mephisto, I guess. Worried that he might have been because of the way he was asking questions, but it could just be some sort of a weird consciousness. I, I think, I still think Wanda pulled him in. Wanda pulled him from another universe, fed him her memories, her shared memories with her brother. Um, that's why whatever memory he brings up, she does remember. Um, and also why he knew that, that the memory she was feeding before to try to trick him or test him wasn't a real memory. I think she brought him over and kind of filled his head with some stuff. And I think there's enough of enough free will there and enough awareness there that she left with him is why he's questioning things. So I, I still am not 100% certain, but I still think he is a, somebody pulled from the X-Men universe, I think. Because they have to do it at some point. They have to do something like this. It may not be the same actor. Right, some people are saying, "Okay, now that he's here, we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna get, uh, you know, current generation other characters popping in, Xavier and, and stuff like that." Um, I don't think necessarily so, um, but Feige's got to figure out a way to get mutants, mutants we know, as well as Fantastic Four in here. The Fantastic Four thing, I think he's gonna do through Sword. I think they hinted at that in the beginning when Monica was talking to the director and they were talking about the, the, the uh, program and candidates and things like that. I think that's the Fantastic Four. I think that's how they're going to pull them in, is they're just going to be uh, some of those candidates doing whatever program they're doing and, and that they were talking about with S.W.O.R.D. So that's easy. The mutants, <clears throat> a lot of people, and I was one of them, thought that this was the way Feige's bringing the mutants in. I, I, I still think that's probably what's going on here but I'm not 100% certain <laughs> as this show is really good at making you doubt yourself about a lot of stuff. So I'm not going to be one of those people who say, oh, that's such, that, that, that's this and this, that's this and this. I'm just always going to couch it with, I think. Uh, and that might change in the, in the course of a single episode. Um, wow, the vision being ripped back. I thought that he would come out and either be whole because she had actually, she or whoever had actually re- formed and re-energized him or he would just come out and, and fall into pieces or fall you know into one dead corpse or something but the fact that he couldn't quite get out even with his abilities <clears throat> he couldn't quite get out and and it, and the field the hex is pulling him apart ripping him apart to pull him back in is just amazing now again um back to wanda expanding it does that 100% concrete prove that she created it in the first place? I don't think so. Um, but it could. It could absolutely mean she did it. I still don't think so. Why am I not thinking so? Now let's stop and analyze why I don't think so. I don't think so because so many people are confident that there's somebody else involved. Agnes, Mephisto, somebody. Somebody else is involved. Um, and I'm kind of leaning towards <clears throat> Agnes being a player. I, what player she is, I don't know. But Agnes being some kind of player, I'm still leaning towards that. But did she create the hex? Or is she just encouraging Wanda uh, to do this stuff? Or manipulating her in some way? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm not convinced that there's some big Mephisto. I mean, Agnes talks about Ralph all the time, but maybe it's just Wanda and, and Agnes. And Wanda's doing 
the heavy lifting and just doesn't realize she's doing the heavy lifting until now when she just said, okay, I'm, I, I need to save vision and boom, it expands and doubles in size. And she's got a lot of people now. So there's, if they were being stressed to keep <clears throat> a small number of people in that town, a couple thousand or whatever it was, um, and they, they are hard pressed to even keep them all active now that they've doubled the size. Oh boy. And what's Vision going to think? She doesn't appear to be able to or doesn't want to wipe his memories of things that are happening in here. So he's going to know what he saw. and He's going to know what happened. He's going to know that this is, this is going I mean, he already suspected this is going on. He already knows this is going on. That's why he was pleading to them to help. The people need their help. Oh, boy. I want to know what happened to Darcy. That's my opinion. That's actually my biggest question at the moment is what happened to Darcy. And hopefully they'll show us. But uh wow, this has been a lot this has been crazy. Crazy. All the stuff with, with uh yeah, all the stuff with Quicksilver, all the stuff with Pietro or Peter. Um the kids and their powers now. Um yeah, just crazy stuff. Great. The 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 show just it's just on a roll now. It's just rolling downhill. And I don't know what'll stop it. Looking forward to Doctor Strange. I still think he's going to be the one to come now that this is happening. This is getting even bigger. And it'll come to his attention. My hunch. What's your hunch? Let me know. Let me know who you think is going to come. Are, is an Avenger going to come? Are Avengers going to come? Um, and who will it be? And what's going to happen? And who is Pietro? And is he really from the X-Men universe or not? And uh, is there somebody else in charge beyond her, Wanda, and, uh, and Agnes? Let me know what you thought. What you think in the comments. <laughs> Man, I need to go back to sleep. <laughs> I'll talk to you next time. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.